Good evening. Let's find the values of x between 0 and 360 degrees. Um, to get started, I'm going to use the special triangles right here, the 30-60-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle. In this case, for sine of x equals half, this guy won't be that useful. But I'm just going to leave it there still. And um, OK, so sine of x is half. If we take a look at this triangle right here, we have the 1 and the 2. And the 2 is the hypotenuse. And if we take a look at Sokatoa, we can remember, of course, that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. If this was the opposite and this is the hypotenuse, we have half for sine opposite over hypotenuse. In order for this side of the triangle right here to be the opposite, we need this angle. Huh. So the sine of 30 is 1 over 2. So x is 30 degrees. That easy, huh? OK. Well, are we done? We're not done the question yet. We just found the first value. Hmm. OK, and why is there more than one value? Just because right here on the second quadrant, we also have positive values for sine. We have negative values for tangent and cosine, though. That doesn't matter in this case. And so if I draw a terminal arm right here that has, for example, this guy measuring 30 degrees, then we are also going to get sine equals half. And I'm going to show you guys the reference angle right here. Actually, sorry, that's the reference angle. But the terminal, uh, the terminal arm is right there. And the standard position angle is this one, which will be the second answer. How can we calculate that? Easy. 180 is the whole thing, of course, from here to there. Since that's just 30 degrees, we can go 180 minus 30. And we have the second answer, which is 150 degrees. There we go. 30. Wow, that's terrible looking degree sign. OK, there we go. So x is 30 and 150. For many other questions, like just like this one, or rather similar ones, you can visit this website if you like. Once again, thank you for watching.